Let's take a look at how the new triggering capability in Spectrum View can help us isolate a random transient shift in frequency of this 40 megahertz clock. We'll start by adding Spectrum View to the display and then configuring it to look at the fundamental of the 40 megahertz clock. So we'll set the center frequency to 40 megahertz and let's we'll just set the span to 50 megahertz. Next, we'll add the frequency versus time trace to spectrum view, which is actually the frequency deviation versus time. And we'll set the trigger to trigger on that frequency versus time trace. Next, we can adjust the trigger level to trigger on a particular frequency deviation value and increase the amount of time we're capturing here to observe the transient. If we pause the acquisitions here, you can see the transient frequency deviation of this clock signal in the frequency deviation versus time plot. And the frequency change is great enough that we can even see it in the time domain waveform of our clock pulse. We can see we've got uh, five or six cycles uh, of the clock here where the frequency is about 10 to 15 megahertz higher than the base 40 megahertz clock. The ability to trigger on spectrum view RF versus time traces such as the magnitude versus time and frequency deviation versus time opens up new possibilities to trigger on and capture signals in ways that were never before possible.